Audhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear students, today we will study about the different parts of plant that are roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and birds. And we will study plant tissues and organs. And at the end of the lesson, we will be able to understand the different parts of plant and understand their internal structure and function and to understand how different parts help each other in structure and function. So come towards plants and their systems. You can see here in these pictures that there are some pictures of different plants and these were quite different from each other. Different plants have different structures. All plants are living organisms, but all are different from each other. For example, a tree is a very different from primrose. A phone weed does not look like rose plant. However, they all have same basic structures. Most plants have roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and buds. Most of the plants consist of all these five parts. Okay. So uh, we will discuss these uh, parts one by one. Now come towards the roots and stem. You can see here, this part of the plant or this part of the plant is so-called root, okay? This is so-called roots. They were so-called roots. And this is the underground part of the plant. Roots are always the underground part of the plant. Roots hold plants in place in the ground and also take in water that is needed by the plant. But what is the function of the root? What does the root did? So roots, the main function of the roots is to absorb minerals and water from the soil and transport that mineral and water to other parts of the plant like leaves where those minerals and water should be accommodated there, should be utilized there for the preparation of food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll present in the green leaves of the plant. So the main function of the roots is to make sure to form the plant inside soil and to suck water and minerals from soil and transport it, that water and minerals to the leaves of the plant. The stem is a plant main support above the ground. Just like the roots, the under, uh, roots are the underground part of the plant. So stem is the outer part of the plant and it supports the plant to its stem. It holds the leaves so they can get light for photosynthesis and the flowers to attract insects. It bears buds, leaves, uh, flowers so that are attracted by the that will attract insects and birds for the pollination you can see here in these pictures these are some stems okay they were so called stems for example this is the underground stem okay this is what so called the underground stem and these are the common stems that can, you can see with your naked eyes around you. So these are all about uh, the roots and stem of a plant. What is the main function of the root? To take water and minerals, to take water and minerals from the soil and transport it to leaves. And what is the function of the stem? To withstand or to support the plant above the ground. Now come towards leaves, birds, birds and flowers. Now come towards first leaves. You can see here in this figure, these are so-called leaves. Okay, you are, all of you are familiar with leaves of the plants. Leaves are where a plant makes its food during photosynthesis. Leaves are the parts of the plant which are used for the preparation of food during a process called photosynthesis. Leaves comes in all shape and size. 
you can observe that each and every plant have different type of leaves. Okay, for example, the leaves of a prime rose will be quite different from that of a rose plant and so on. So leaves will be in different shapes and in different sizes. Some are flat, some are thick, some are round, some are long, some are short, some are thread-like structures. So different leaves are in different structures. And what is the main function of the leaves? What are the main functions of the leaf? The leaves prepare food for the plant. The main function of the leaf is to make sure or to make food for the plant. And the green, green leaves contains a green pigment that is what so called, that is what so called, Anybody of you? Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Very nice. That is so called chlorophyll. Okay. And then green pigment are absorb the sunlight from the from the sun. Okay. That absorbs sunlight from the sun and they will also absorb carbon dioxide from the environment. Okay. And water molecules from the environment through stomata and with the help of that chlorophyll, sunlight and minerals or water molecules and car uh, carbon dioxide gas, uh, food for a plant should be made there in the form of starches, that is what so, what so called sugar. Okay, that is also called sugar. And that sugar or that prepared food should be transmitted throughout the, par throughout the parts of the plant and as a result, that food will be utilized there. And as a result, the plant grows there and survives there. Flower contains the reproductive part. We should come towards the fourth part of the plant. That is what so-called flowers. So what is the function of the flower? The function of the flower is, flower contains the reproductive organs of the plants. What are the reproductive organs? Reproductive organs are those organs from which some baby plants will come. Okay, so that is so-called reproductive organs. There are many types of flowers. You can observe that millions of flowers are here exist in our planet. For example, flower of a rose flower, for example, jasmine flower, for example, tulip flower. So all of them are flowers. Okay, and you observe that each and every flower quite different from other flowers. Okay. All the flowers, all the flowers are quite different from each other. They have different colors, they have different sizes, they have different shapes. But most of them have brightly colored petals. What are petals? The green, uh, sorry, the bright color part of the flower is so-called petals. You can see these leaves. These are also called leaves. But these are colorful, so these are so-called petals. Okay, they were so-called petals and it produces some sweet smell okay to attract the insects and birds towards those, those flowers okay the main function of these color bright color uh, leaves of the flower are so are for attracting insects and birds for pollination Okay, now come towards the last part of the flower, uh, plant and there are so-called buds. Okay, you can see here these small thread-like structures are some uh, small hooks are here. They are so-called buds. Okay, these parts are so-called buds and it always grows uh, just right above the leaves. Okay, they are so-called buds and later on they will become stems. They will become another branch of the plant. Okay. They were so-called birds. Birds are where growth start growing take place at the tip of roots and shoots. Okay, this is also called bird. Okay, at the tip of the shoot or stem that is also called bird. There are two types of bird. The one is said to be apical bird. This, this bird is said to be apical bird. And it starts from the tip of the plant. And these are so-called axillary birds which grows above the leaves. These birds are grows above the leaves. 
okay there here uh, you can see in this figure you observe the different parts of the plant okay like this is what so called the apical bud this bud is so called apical bud you can see here these are so called flowers okay they were so called flowers this long thread like structure this is what so called stem of the plant these are leaves this is so called axillary bud this thread like structure is so called petiole which connects the leaf to the stem the function of the petiole is to connect leaf to the stem this is called node from where the leaf starts or from where the petiole starts this is so called node the distance between two nodes is so called internode okay this is the distance between two nodes and this is what so called internode so this is all about different parts of the plant now come towards the internal organs of the plant okay coming towards the internal organs of the plant plant tissues and organs okay plants tissues and organs you can see here these are some tissues of the plant you can see here in these pictures these are so called xylem tissues they are so called phloem tissues and this these are also called protective tissues okay it is lying there at the upper surface of the leaf the shiny surface of the leaf is so called protective tissues it is made up of protective tissues now come towards these tissues one by one okay first of all i will explain the xylem tissues you can see here these are so called xylem tissues they were so called xylem tissues xylem tissues and it's the function of the xylem tissues which carries water and minerals from the roots to the leaves the function of the xylem tissues or the function of the xylem vessels is to suck the water and minerals from roots to the leaves of the plant in other words we can say that the function of the xylem tube or xylem tissues the to transport water and minerals to the leaves of the plant now you can see here these are so called phloem tissues they were so called phloem tissues and the function of these phloem tissues to carry food prepared food you can consider prepared food from the leaves to other parts of the plant okay xylem tissues are used for the transportation of water and mineral from roots to leaves and the function of the phloem tissues for the transportation of prepared food from leaves to other parts of the plant you can see here these are also tissues these are so called protective tissues protective tissues covers the surface of the roots stems and leaves it is a thin transparent skin that protects the plant from damage or infection the main function of these tissues to protect the leaf and stem and other uh, roots and other uh, delicate parts of the plant from damaging and from infection okay so the main these are so called the protective tissues just like it is resembles from its name okay that there are so called protective tissues because it protects the delicate parts of the plant from damage you should come to these figures you can see this is what so called xylem tube okay you can see it is a one way traffic okay only one way flow is possible here in this tube and usually these tubes are dead okay these are dead tissues it is made up of dead cells and its swaths are thicker than that of the phloem okay it is made up of dead cells and its swaths are thicker as compared to the phloem cells and only one way flow is possible here in the xylem tube and that is from roots to leaves okay it starts from roots and it ends to leaves you can see here 
there is no middle walls or no end walls just like phloem tubes they have end walls okay they have end walls but you can see here that here is no blockage no barrier is here you can observe that no barrier is here so the transportation is through out okay there will be no restriction there will be no stoppage of the transfer of water and minerals from the roots to the shoots okay you can observe from here come towards the phloem tissues you can see here that a two way traffic is possible here because the reason is that the prepared food that will be transported to the other upper parts of the plant and it will be transported to the lower parts of the plant as well so a two way traffic is here and these are made up of living cells okay they will be a live cells it's made from a live cells and some blockages are there that is so called end walls okay they are so called end walls it stops the transportation of food when no need is required there okay if there is no need of food required there then it will stop the transportation and you can see here that a two way traffic is here a two way flow is here it will goes down the plant and it will goes up the plant as well okay plant tissues and organs a different tissues this this is your uh, book literature so i should read and i will explain this to you also different tissues combines to make an organs their organs together make a plant which is an organs another is something that is able to survive on its own a leaf is a plant organ whose job is to make food for photosynthesis i already explained this to you a leaf made from these tissues this is the structure of a leaf you can see here in this figure okay these are so called photosynthetic tissues the upper surface this is so called protective tissues already i explained these are so called xylem and below here this you can see here these are so called phloem this is the internal structure of a leaf this is what so called the internal structure of a leaf okay you can see here that there are some epidermis okay this is so called uh, adazial epidermis these are so called air cavities in between these epidermis below here below them you can see here this, this is a junction of xylem and phloem okay these are so called bundle sheet this is so called stoma or stomata plural the sto, uh, plural of stoma is stomata these are the openings from which the gases exchange should be occur there this is so called substomatal cavity okay where the gases are accommodated there are stored there these are mesophyll these are so called spongy mesophylls which stores different gases and water molecules for the timing being and these are so called palisade mesophylls okay these are these uh, these contains chlorophyll green pigment which uh, are used there for the preparation of the food plant tissues and organs so how tissues are formed number of cells are joined together and they will form tissues for example xylem tissues phloem tissues etc okay for example xylem tissues phloem tissues etc they were so called tissues and they are made up of number of cells now number of tissues are joined together and they will form organs okay number of tissues are joined together and they will form organs and number of organs are joined together and they will form organ system and number of organ system joins together and will form an organism okay so a revision is here for you roots their job is to hold the plant in the ground they also take in water and minerals from the soil the tip of roots are sensitive to gravity that is why they grow the soil stem okay stems uh, the stems the stems keeps 
the plant upright and holds the leaves so they can get sunlight and exchange of gases are possible here. And you can see here, these are flowers. And the main function of the flowers, they contain the male and female reproductive organs. These are in the flowers, okay? The male and reproductive parts of the plant are there in flowers. Flowers are usually brightly colored. As I already mentioned to you, that it has some bright colors like red, like yellow, like blue, like magenta, etc. And so many other colors are there. Okay, and sent it to attract insects and birds for the pollination of the uh, male and female gametes. So dear, dear students, this is all about uh, today's lecture. If you have any question regarding this lecture, you should ask please.